guess what? It's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Best day of the week. Um, it's been a long week and a cold week. I'm wrapped up in a blanket, my, a quilt. My mum makes quilts, so I'm all wrapped up in it to keep myself warm. Um, yeah, so I've got a few bits of stitching to show you. Uh, let's just get started. So I did finish the A is for Anchor by the Prairie Schooler. It's very pretty. It's really cute. It looks so much better now that all of this stuff at the bottom is filled in because I thought the top was really boring. Um, when I'm looking at it now in the camera though, I'm really worried that this... You can't even see that, can you? So the red colour that's called for in the chart is quite dark and I've heard more than one person say that they switched it up for a lighter red. And I'm really worried. You can see it a bit better when the light's on it. So when I look at it in real life, I can see it like that. I can see it pretty okay. Um, but it is very dark and it's not always clear. So what do you think? Do you think I should switch out that red for a lighter red? Don't know. Don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um, because it is very dark. It looks fine, you know, up here and stuff. But even saying that, it doesn't look particularly red. It looks burgundy. So maybe I will switch it out. Um, one little change I made in this was I changed this crab. He was also supposed to be stitched in the same red colour, but um, I used the... There's a pink in the in the floss list, so I changed it up for the pink because I thought a pink crab would be cuter. So that's the Prairie Schooler. Oh yeah, that, that's A is for anchor, and this little green blob here is the start of B, which is B is for Blackbird. So that was a finish, yay! First finish for this month. Yes. Then, <laughs> then came Bella B. Ah. Uh, Oh, I've had dramas with this. Oh my gosh. I had so much angst over this in the last couple of days. So if you might remember that I had a problem with dye lots in this colour for her skin, it's 754. And um, this bit on her forehead was much lighter than the bit down here. And I'd stitched all the way down to about here. So there was a lot more of her face done than her forehead. And I thought, I'll just unpick the forehead, and then use the darker colour and fill her in. So I unpicked the forehead, then I got my floss out, and I could only find the... I had two skeins, but they were both the lighter colour. I don't know where this one... I obviously had one, like, length, six strands, of the darker colour, and I used it, because it was loose, and then that's it. That's all I had. So I don't know where that came from. Um, so what I did yesterday was I ran around to two different link crafts and grabbed two different skeins from two different shops, and one of them does match. So I... Um, I went out to dinner last night with Tim and his parents and his grandmother, but when we got home I did end up putting in a little bit of the new colour underneath the skin there, and I think it matches pretty well. I can't see any difference. So I am happy with that. Thank God. My goal for this weekend is to get her skin done, because she has a lot of skin. <laughs> um, I'll be happy if I get that done. And then after that, I'll just keep working on the rest of her, which will be... She has a lot of background as well. She has a solidly stitched background. And so I'll probably alternate a little bit of background with a little bit of the other details on her. So yeah, and then she'll be done. And there's only three more <laughs> of her to do. Um, this is, yeah, as I said, Bella B by, I think it's Nora Corbett actually, not Mary Billia. Um, so that's what I've been doing for the last couple of nights. But tonight, because it's Friday, <laughs> I worked on And A Forest Grew. It's only 8.45, so I've done well to get this done so early tonight. I did this little tree here, and I also did these five little mushrooms here. Um, and I decided that five mushrooms equals one motif, because they're all identical. And since I'm getting the threads out to stitch one, I may as well stitch all of them. So this is pretty, right? I love it. I was looking at it tonight and thinking just how pretty this is. And then it's really going to be one of my favourites when it's done. I can tell. It'll be one of my favourites for a long time. Yeah, I'm just staring at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Those, those mushrooms are really weird. There's like a very dark green in the middle and then a really light green around the outside. It's actually this colour. 3819. This is how I store my threads. <laughs> um, yeah, 3819. And you know what? I actually had to start a new skein of this. It was sitting in here never used. I don't do that that often, you know? If you've been stitching for a long time, 
you kind of get through your threads, you know, and it's not that often that you start a new one, so that's, that's interesting. <laughs> it's good. It's kind of an ugly colour. I can see why I never used it, I'll be honest. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's all the stitching I have to show you. Um, I've been reading all your comments on my last video. A lot of you are hiding your words really well. I'm like, oh, there's a ghost behind me? What? Oh, ghost. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not that bright. Um, but closer to the draw date, I will put a heart next to your comments and probably leave a reply just um, noting down how many things you entered for so that um, we can I can make sure I got all the things you wanted. Um, yeah. So the other thing I was going to, to do tonight... <laughs> the other thing I was going to do tonight is to do one of the 20 random facts about me because everyone's been doing it and... I want to as well, it'll be fun. Um, so let's do fact number one about me. I work, I'm just going to talk about my work and what I used to do. So I work as a systems engineer, um, which is a very boring thing, which kind of means that I make programs work with other programs on the network in the environment and I make everything work together. Um, and it's kind of boring, there's a lot of documentation, there's a lot of um, kind of developing. I work for a I, well, I work mainly on one particular program in a big environment. Um, it's kind of a dry job, it's not that interesting. I actually went to uni for games development, so I, I was doing software engineering. Um, and I made a game for the Oc Oculus Rift, which is like a, if you don't know, it's a 3D headset that you put on your face and you feel like you're in a 3D world, it's amazing. Um, and if you do know, guys, I made a game for the Rift. <sighs> <laughs> um, and I've made a couple of apps and things like that. Um, nothing anyone's ever played. Um, but yeah, I've, I've done some fun things. Games development is awesome. I am a gamer, so it's, it is awesome. And I do wish I could have gone into that, but there just aren't jobs in Australia. Um, out of my class, there were there were heaps of people in my class, 20-something. Um, but only... So about three of them have their own indie companies at the moment. Mm, a couple... One of them hasn't even released their game yet. <laughs> um, this is two years after leaving uni. And uh, one of them has been really successful and he's working for a big company in Montreal. Uh, one of them's working for a mobile app company. But apart from those five people, I think everybody else is working either in other IT jobs or not working at all or working in non-IT things. Like one person I know has gone into like accounting or something. So. It's really hard to get jobs in games in Australia. There's no studios really here anymore, um, except small ones and indie ones, so it's difficult. But what I was also gonna say in this fact about me was that before I went into IT, I actually was a nurse. I wasn't, okay, I studied nursing. <laughs> I never finished studying nursing. I didn't finish my degree, but I worked um, as an assistant, an AIN for nine or 10 years. Um, I did night shifts in a nursing home. Um, when I was studying nursing, I was I majored in mental health. Um, I was planning on possibly going and doing a year. You have to do an extra year of study to be a midwife. I thought maybe I'd like to be a midwife. <laughs> um, I kind of went into nursing because when I finished school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And, you know, I got a really good mark, but not good enough for medicine, which was kind of the only thing I knew that I wanted to do. And I started a, a double degree of science and nursing and then um, I bought a house because I was working the night shifts and I realised that I wanted to finish my degree quicker so I dropped the science so I could finish the nursing because as my mum very practically pointed it out, if you're a nurse you'll always have a job, you know, and that's very true. You know, if you're a scientist it's kind of more vague and not so easy to, not so easy to get a job if you, if you move around and stuff. Um, so nursing seemed eminently practical, so I thought I'd do that, and then I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore, and dropped out, and sold my house, and moved to Canberra, moved in with my parents, and studied IT, and I'm much happier now. <laughs> Even though my job is boring, I'm still happier. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's kind of a long story, but that's one fact about me. I work with computers, and I used to be a nurse. Um, yeah, so I worked night shifts in aged care for years and years and years, and then I worked night shifts at the hospital after I moved to Canberra. For a couple of years so I'm well acquainted with night shifts <laughs> I'm well acquainted with aged care mental health and lots of different things I've worked on 
tons of different kinds of wards, orthopedics and respiratory and oncology and gastroenterology and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> you do all kinds of things um, when you're studying. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's an interesting fact about me. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, so there were two other things I was going to talk about. One is that we're going to go and spy on Tim. Because you can probably hear the noises he's making. You can probably hear in a lot of my videos the noises he's making. Because um, he yells a lot. He's playing games. But we're going to go and spy on him. So I'll put in a video here. Oh, and there's another body out there. Just come out from the other one of the other buildings. Uh, to the left. Little white building further down the hill. Let's engage. Yeah, he just went up upstairs. Cool. Oh, can you can you get a can you get a line on him? Oh fuck! That was a good fuck. That was a good shot by him though. Got me in the fucking head. Okay, maybe we should not have engaged. Every night, nearly every night, I hear that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to talk about was that I joined a stitch along. It's not a mystery. Um, it's, it is a stitch along with, uh, is it Dina? I think it's Dina from Half Stitch Cross Stitch. Um, and it is for Nantucket Rose, um, which is a chart by Lavender and Lace, uh, which I don't have here. It's at my mum's house. <laughs> I told Dina, I've got it all, I've got it all kitted up. And I, and I thought to myself, well, I know I have the chart. I know I've got fabric that will be appropriate. And I know I have all the DMC threads. <laughs> so um, I've been looking at the fabric viewer, trying to figure out what fabric I want to use for it. I've got a few choices. I'll put them on the screen here. So what do you think? Number one is the blue one. Number two is the pink one. Number three is the red one. Which one do you think is nice? I think I might do it over one just to be different because there are no beads in it and um, I think it'll be really cute if it's just eeny weeny like this it'll be really sweet and so cute um, so yeah I'll do it over one on 28 count and all those bits of fabric I have a 28 count um, yeah what do you think guys uh, if you want to join the stitch along there's a group on Facebook oh, it's, is it a group I think it's just an event on Facebook and it's called Nantucket Rose Sal so search for that on Facebook and um, join. Uh, it's, uh, it starts on August 1st, but it's not official or anything. So yeah. Uh, yeah. That's all I have to say. Thanks for your comments on the last video. <laughs> um, you, you guys are hilarious. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll see you next time I make a video in a couple of days. Probably on the weekend at some time. I have to go out tomorrow. Ugh. I hate going out. I'm so antisocial. We're going out to see some friends of Tim's. And they're nice girls. They're really nice. I just don't like going out. I don't like leaving the house. I don't like hanging out with people. Um, yeah, but we're playing games, which I do like, so it'll be good. Um, but yeah, of course, no stitching gets done when I leave the house. That's why I don't like leaving the house. Uh, okay, that's all. I'll see you later. Bye.